Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Julianne Thorne and I am a holistic cat therapist and soul activator for Cat Guardians. Every week I share with you wisdom from cats. So for a long time now it's been my boys, so Leo and Baby Max, sometimes you've had Pickle, the cat that came before, and now I am starting to work with different cats. So this week we've got uh, Daisy and Wally. So they are the beautiful cats of somebody that's in my Become a Soul Led Guardian program. So Daisy is the beautiful tabby cat on the left and Wally is the ginger boy on the right. Now Wally is actually in spirit. So he's no longer with us in physical form. Jill gave me permission to connect with Daisy. And when I looked at the pictures that I had, I actually saw this one in our private group and felt really drawn to connect with them both. So let's see what they have to say. Just give me a second. Oh, wow. So the first thing I feel is Daisy almost like pushing people out of the way to stand up to the microphone to like to speak, whereas Wally is sat there and he's waiting patiently, waiting patiently to be invited, to be asked to have the focus on him. They also show me like a yin and yang symbol you know, where the shapes are slightly different, but in a circle and connected, I, that's, that's no mistake uh, that these two are, are connected. I don't know if they're litter mates. I don't know if they're actual, you know, physically from the same litter brother and sister, but the two of them together have such a deep, it doesn't really cover it. They have such a strengthened connection. And like I said, Daisy's here in physical form and Wally's not that doesn't make any difference energy connection love it's all still there okay so I think I feel like this is Wally he says we come to you together so that you can see humans humans present so much worth on the physical form sounds like Milo from last week Yet yeah, that is a small, like he shows me like, you know, 1% so tiny, an element of a being. <sighs> like he, he shows me like this. I don't really get a lot of pictures. It's interesting. There's a lot of pictures coming through today. He shows me like this big infinite light. And it's like, that's, that's the soul. That's the being. The physical body is such a small part of the makeup of a connection of a being that is almost like there's like comedy value there that we put so much emphasis on the physical form when cats are sick which makes me think of Milo last week and when the cats are no longer with us like yes we grieve and yes that's natural but from my Wally's perspective he's like but why why are you sad and why do you do you feel so heavy and dense in term, he means in terms of the emotional vibration he's like but but that's not all it is like that's just so small it's almost like ins insignificant in, in his perspective you focus on the fact that my physical body has gone and you lose sight of the fact that you have capacity to connect with me from your heart you lose sight of the fact that you can feel my essence when you find your breath. I am sitting here waiting, waiting for you to feel me, waiting for you to receive me. I'm here on this side because your heart is meant to grow, your connection deepen, your awareness transcend your current state. 
I am on this side. He means like he's he's in spirit. He's not in physical form. I'm on this side to wake you up, to help you to see the strength in your divinity, the capacity for your growth and your soul to receive and to be so much more than your body. <laughs> He says, she is still with you. He means Daisy now. She is still with you to make you smile, to give you that physical reassurance, to help you with your humanness. Interesting. <laughs> he says, we all signed the deal. He means, a, oops, he means a soul contract. He's like, we all signed up for this. You know, we're, we're a team. Like we're a tag team, which is exactly how it's meant to be. He doesn't understand the the sorrow, which, you know, it's like I said, as humans, we have that when the physical form is no longer with us. But he's talking to, to Jill and he's like, I don't understand like the grief and the sorrow and the heaviness and the guilt. Like he's like, that's let it go. You know, he's like, that is just keeping you heavy and stuck. Like Daisy is trying to show you to elevate your soul and your being to come into your heart space. And he's like, I am here. I am ready. Like, come on, mum. <laughs> now, I know Jill is part of the Become a Soul Ed Guardian program. And she's talked about how many shifts she's had since being in this program. And I really hope that this inspires her to, to continue to do more of the work to, to now connect with Wally, because I know she's been working on connecting with Daisy. <laughs> Daisy's like, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Daisy says, I got the easy job. She's like, I'm here in physical form. And yes, there are lessons, but she's like, I got the easy job. You know, mum, mum knows that I'm here and her like trust and faith can be, it's like easier almost, like easier to, to connect with the cat. Because Jill's all about, you know, becoming a soul led cat guardian, which means connecting with, communicating with, receiving the essence of the cat. She's like, you know, Wally, she's like, God, you know, why did he sign up for that? But he got the hard part. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. We just need her to see this is both of them together. Her, her, say that again. We need her to see her sovereignty her power and she needs to shed yeah so daisy says the air like the elements she means the air the sun the the warmth yeah she's like the elements heal us more mum you know she she wants more of that more for you jill more for her and the quiet time in the stillness is where wally sits yeah you have more to release mum the more you shed, the more you'll shine. Oh. And then Molly just says, I am waiting. Oh, thank you, guys. Ooh, okay, so that's the words this week from Molly and Daisy for Jill. And I'm uh, looking forward to hearing how that resonates for her. So if you'd like to join us in the uh, Become a Soul Ed Cat Guardian program, I'll drop a link below. It is an application only program because it's not for everyone. It's not a cat communication course. It's a program. It's a program to change your life. It's a program to help you come out of your head and into your heart, to acknowledge your thoughts, your anxiety, your guilt, to deal with it. That's what the program does. It gives you those tools to deal with it and then to lead from your heart space, to be guided and to reconnect and to lead from your intuition. So if you're interested, like I said, book a call. I look forward to connecting with you. And thank you again to Jill, Wally and Daisy for the weekly wisdom today. I will catch you next week, everybody. Have a great week. Bye for now.